The six leading candidates for Toronto's next mayor went head to head tonight in a two hour debate hosted by the United Way and Toronto Metropolitan University, focusing on a topic that has been important to many, making Toronto more affordable. Olivia Chow, Josh Matlow, Mark Saunders, Anna Bailau, Brad Bradford and Mitzi Hunter battling it out on the debate stage, trying to make their mark with less than a month to go until voters head to the polls. The number one pressing issue that I have heard over and over again, north, south, east or west, has been public safety. I bring to this debate and to this campaign the broadest set of experience in business, in community. I hear from residents from every corner of this city that they want a city that is safe, that is affordable and livable. The debate centering around questions related to how each candidate would address growing poverty and equality, along with how they will work to ensure residents can access affordable housing, critical services and mental health supports. There are folks on this stage that are going to tell you they will build more bureaucracy to build more housing. But the answer is we need to improve supply. We need to protect tenants and that's why I will triple the amount of funds in our uh, rent bank. That is why we will have an anti-displacement unit to fight rent evictions. And that is why I will put a freeze on rental demolitions while we do a citywide review. While affordability was front and center, safety on city streets and safety on public transit was also top of mind for candidates. Together we can make TDC the better way by doing things a different way. I'll reverse the cuts, invest in TDC, get the uh, customers back. Candidates asking each other questions, with most going in on the current front runner, according to recent polls, Olivia Chow, and how much she plans to increase property taxes. How much property taxes should Torontonians be ready to pay under your watch? So if I can, if I heard the question uh, properly, what is the percentage? I think I don't think that's the right question. The question really should be, what kind of service are we prepared to put in? Let's go back to the question, because I think I'm the one asking the question here, and I still didn't get an answer for the question, and we keep not getting an answer to the question. I, I didn't get clarity, so I'm going to ask you again, Ms. Chow. Mitzi Hunter, Okay. Uh, pick, pick your challenger. Well, my question is to Olivia, because I have not <laughs> heard the answer to this question. Voters will head to the polls to vote for Toronto's next mayor on June 26th. Melissa Nakavali, City News.